Well, there you have it. That is Tropical Depression 09W now being warned on by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. Winds right now in the center of circulation, not quite tropical storm strength. Uh, we're talking about 20 to 30 knots. So actually more or less a, uh, a decent breeze, but Here's the deal. This is expected to intensify over the next 24 to 48 hours. Uh, if it does become a tropical storm, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency, it will likely be named INFA as well. But right now, though, there is that broad circulation in here. JTWC is expecting it to intensify and pass by Okinawa as possibly a Category 2 to Category 3 storm system with winds upwards of 90 gusting to 110 knots. But even straight from JTWC, I was reading their prognostic reasoning and basically that it's kind of their analysis of the storm. And the key thing that stood out to me when I was reading through it, they said the forecast certainty it's pretty low at this time, meaning, you know, there's a lot of variables. Our storm is still developing. It's a slow mover and it still has this kind of monsoonal gyre characteristics to it. So that means that uh, we could see this pull maybe further towards the north, towards the west, but I think somewhere in the southern Japanese islands. We're going to be talking about typhoon strength conditions by the time we head over towards Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday of next week, this showing the 21st into the afternoon right there. So by, uh, you know, Wednesday morning, we could have already tropical storm strength winds at the very least moving on shore there into Okinawa. So there's a look at the, the broader picture with our tropical, I'll look at tropical depression just here towards the east of Luzon right about there. By the way, there's another invest area which has been labeled uh, just northwest of Luzon, south of Hong Kong. I don't expect anything to come out of it. Just want to you know, point that out that we have this positive pulse with the Mad and Julian oscillation. I know if you're not, you know, a, a weather whiz, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about there. But basically, it's this global uh, surge of energy that travels around, uh, well, the globe, obviously, every about, you know, about month, uh, two months, it, it passes by. And uh, right now it is over the Western Pacific. And boy, it is uh, really kicking up the convection there. So there's a look at that tropical depression expected to move towards the north. Broad circulation here based on ASCAT imagery. I think that's what uh, JTWC was looking at and reason why they're expecting this to become a, or already saying it's a tropical depression because there is starting to see that closed off low level center here. Uh, eventually though, this is gonna pull towards the north and by early to mid next week, approaching the Southern Japanese islands as well. But you know, th that's not the only thing. You also have that moisture inflow coming in behind it. So of course, we're gonna be looking at that impacts for southern or southwestern Japan, that flow coming in means uh, heavier than scattered showers at the very least uh, across the western portions of Luzon, down through Visayas, uh, Mindoro, Pelawan as well. You're going to be looking at these uh, scattered to heavy showers. So here's the main point I want you to take away. Storm likely will be named this week in Infa or Goryeo. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Please correct me if for those of my friends in the Philippines. Okinawa in southern Japan needs to prepare now. I think that's one of the big things I do want to stress because especially for you know military out in Okinawa, uh, once those T-Corps warnings start going in place, which I would not be surprised if they, they really put those in the, the very near future, probably by the time you're already watching this video, um, People start running to the grocery stores, places like the commissary already get uh, clogged up and it, it, you just, you don't want to end up in that situation. Um, but the good news, you know, get out there at least before the end of the week and make those final preparations or by Monday, you should still be okay. Tuesday and the Wednesday though, you know, that's going to be a little bit late now. But I think if you prepare, the earlier you prepare, the better. Uh, that's always the case. Um, and you might not even get the direct impact from the storm, but I think there's a high enough threat there that you want to repair. Local flooding and landslides, though, in the Philippines also possible, um, despite the fact the storm's not going to impact you. And I, I don't think you're going to have signal force warnings. Heavy rainfall warnings are still a possibility. For Japan, know your cy tropical cyclone warnings as well. Sometimes you'll get these on your phones. The uh, advisories, warnings, just, you know, um, go back through. You can use this as a, a guide also at westernpacificweather.com. Uh, have a whole site of these warnings and translations listed as well. So make sure you know those because sometimes you get those listed on your phone uh, or even over the loudspeaker sometimes. 
Before the arrival of a tropical cyclone, have this in Tagalog as well, because I know a lot of you are watching from the Philippines, know that information through official sources. So if you are in Okinawa, JMA, and you know, military, you know, the U.S. military, also Bagasa is official source for the Philippines, prepare to evacuate if needed or ordered to, and check and prepare those emergency kits. I think that's one thing, you know, we, we often talk about, and I've been saying this in my last few updates, and, uh, you know, I've lived out here for a well over a decade in Japan, I always had a go, ball, go bag because uh, not only typhoons, but you also had to worry about uh, earthquakes happen anytime. ECMWF Ensemble also pulling this towards the north and west, and you see that here by Friday evening pulling off here. Starting to see that monsoon pull in through the Philippines. This is by Saturday evening. Let's look ahead into Sunday evening, though. There's the Amami Islands at its Okinawa right about there. And then over towards Monday already pushing closer to Okinawa. This is the GFS though. ECMWF keeps a little bit further towards the east. There is a difference in the difference of the, the different models. So you can't take these guidances per beta. I'll, I'll just tell you to say that. But close enough to definitely cause problems. Uh, I think that's the key thing you want to take away. Uh, from the models, at least at this time. Heavy rainfall for sure in Okinawa. You know, storm surge, I put moderate. I think light would be more or less because you don't really worry about surge there too often. But wind damage is a, a problem if this storm does come through at a Cat 2 to Cat 3. Uh, good news for Okinawa and the southern Japanese islands. They are built like bomb shelters out there. Very, very strict building codes. Um, reinforced concrete, you know, so as long as you stay inside and are smart, you don't have to worry about these storms if you're new to the island. A cat 2, cat 3 is uh, another day. Uh, here's my SpaghettiOs. You know, I love my SpaghettiOs. I know a lot of you guys love the SpaghettiOs too. So uh, I, I, I keep on returning this product for you. Um, yeah, that's just uh, all the SpaghettiOs getting thrown at the Southern Japanese Islands. Very little uncertainty with that model. Uh, and, you know... Then we still have that flow coming in behind it, which I think is going to be a, uh, a sort of a problem for the Philippines. Maybe. Uh, I think that is something that um, people might get caught off guard by is that inflow coming in, that persistent showers there. So something you want to continue to check in on. All right. I'm tired, guys. I just want to make sure I put this video up. I've been awake for like 20 24 hours now. Thank you very much for everybody on Patreon who has been helping out um, to make these videos. You're all legends. If you guys want to help out, uh, maybe you're new to watching these, check out the link down below. I'll put a link to our Patreon. You know, there, there's, there's several different tiers to $2 a month. You can help make these possible. Actually, I just invested a lot more money. You might notice the lighting's a little bit better. It's because I got new lights. But also, the key thing is I got new graphics coming in. It's installed on my computer right now. I just gotta, I gotta set it up. It's a whole show. But it's the same stuff that they use on uh, uh, CNN Philippines, uh, GMA News, a lot of the TV stations in Australia. It's called uh, Weatherscape. You guys gotta check it out. Let me do a little Google on it. Uh, hit that subscribe button though. For more of these videos, obviously, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, stay safe out there. I think key thing, if you are in Okinawa and the Southern Japanese islands is, um, prepare now, you know, don't, don't wait to the last second. Even if it misses you, you're prepared. Oh, well, right. Um, there will be more typhoons. I promise you. All right. Anyways, thanks for watching. And as always, stay safe out there.